and welcome to my latest video on the design and build of my 5 axis CNC mill turn machine. I need to mount the sensor somewhere on the spindle to have a home position for the tool changer. So I need to manufacture a bracket to accommodate this sensor. I have modelled up this bracket in Fusion 360 to hold my sensor. I did a very simple cutter path just to cut the profile and it finished it at each step down because I was using tabs to hold it on. Machined using the uh, tabs in Fusion 360 to hold it in place. Just now I need to remove the part from the block. Holding the bracket in a vise, I machine the slot for the sensor. The slot allows me adjustment on the sensor position. I 
made my bracket to mount the sensor. I don't know exactly where it will go yet. I need to make a, an actuator. Conveniently, there's a series of tapped holes in the top of the timing belt pulley. So I think I'll use one of these holes and make a little aluminium block shaped to fit that will then actuate the sensor. So that produced my actuator. Just need to bolt it onto the timing belt pulley now to see if it works. Here is my actuator mounted onto the timing belt pulley. I've mounted the bracket onto the uh, mill to set its position and check that it all works. Just temporarily wired the sensor up to a, a battery to make sure and get it working before I uh, go to the trouble of putting all the cable for all the cable chains back to the electrical panel. And now I can mark off where the bracket needs to go so I can drill my hole to mount it permanently. 